this video, I'll be walking you through my new product, CryptoVend, which essentially allows you to connect a hardware device to the blockchain. Here I'm filling up my 3D printed vending machine device up with some marbles, connecting it to my machine. And with it connected to CryptoVend right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan a QR code that I'm going to pay some ETH to and on the back end the smart contract is going to pick up on that payment and only when the transaction is gone through and written on chain is it going to emit a, a signal which my hardware device can pick up on and then vend me one marble. So I hope you enjoy and thanks for watching. So that was a quick demonstration of my newest invention, CryptoVend, which is hardware connectivity to the blockchain. Uh, that's by way of a serial connection to the hardware piece. And what it does is it's paired with the smart contract on the back end, which emits a signal whenever a payment confirmation has gone through. So a part of CryptoVend is a token, uh, an NFT token, in fact, which someone buys and it allows them to connect to a web platform and that web platform is what allows that connectivity between the hard work in your serial connection all the way up to the blockchain uh, ledger. All right, so how does it all work? Well, first of all, it starts off from the user hitting the CryptoVend website and saying that they want to mint a NFT token, which is paired to a vending machine, and I'm going to demo that. Here we are at the landing page for CryptoVen, and I'm going to show you how we can use an NFT to connect to hardware. First of all, let's check my OpenSea profile and notice that I have no NFTs right now. Also notice in CryptoVen that we have this section called Connect, where I kept clicking to connect, and I am also on my MetaMask account right here, Chris. I can say connect to wallet and what I get is just my address and the balance, but let's go back now to home and the mint our NFT. So we're going to click mint a vending machine. We're going to scroll down to sign off on the transaction. And we get a link here where this is where our NFT will appear on the OpenSea testnet. Uh, we're going to give OpenSea a moment to gather their thoughts and find our NFT by way of the metadata attached to it. I can refresh a few times till that happens. And then I'll push forward with the demo. So look at that. Refresh now and here's our NFT fresh to us minted 15 seconds ago there have been other vending machine nfts minted and in the details here we can click and we can see that this is number eight as the token id and this is an erc 721 token uh, that is the standard attached to it on the smart contract end meaning that there's a unique owner and it's non-fungible meaning that there's just one so this is the eighth one of those made and it belongs to us so let's check our profile again. Let's do a refresh on that. And you'll see that we have one NFT here. Might as well heart it. So let's go back now to CryptoVend and click Connect. And this time around when we click Connect, you can see that we have our vending machine NFT there, token 8. We're going to click Connect one more time. We can have the balance that it holds. People can pay to it. And we get a QR code attached with the address. This is where it's going to get fun. We're going to connect our hardware. Um, to our computer and then click this purple button connect a vending machine so that when we pay to the NFT it triggers a vending action. So now that we've connected our hardware, CryptoVend is prompting us to connect to serial port. We're going to click that button and we know that our vending machine is connected to this serial port. We're going to go ahead and connect. So now we're connected up to our smart contract on the back end and when someone pays to this QR code or this specific address, it's going to trigger a vending action for our vending machine. So that's pretty neat. Let's go ahead and try it out.
notice now that we've made a transaction that the vending machine balance has a little bit of ETH in it, 0 0.001 to be exact in this case. Pretty cool. We're not going to withdraw the balance yet because what we're going to do right now is we're going to disconnect our machine. We might as well go back to the home page and mint a second vending machine. And this way this user has two, Chris in this case. So this is where it will appear. Let's just give it a moment to refresh and see it appear within our OpenSea test account. So we have two NFTs in our collection now. We have this one we hearted earlier. We can click into it and we can check the details and see this is token 8. And If we back up, we can see the newly created token is token 9. And we can scroll back now and we have two NFTs in our collection. And back at CryptoVen, we can connect into these as well. And we can see that token 8, if we connect in, has a balance of 0.001 paid to it at present. And if we connect into token 9, token 9 has nothing in it right now. So since we have two, we're actually going to share them out. Because we're going to share token 8 to our good friend Simon, who doesn't have any NFTs. So let's go look at Simon's OpenSea test account. We're going to change our test account right here from Chris to Simon. And let's do a refresh. And we'll see that Simon has no items to display, no NFTs in his collection. So what we'll do is we'll copy Simon's address and we will go back to our OpenSea account. And we're going to send him that vending machine NFT that has some balance paid to it. It has 0.001 ETH on it right now. So what we'll do is we'll transfer this over to Simon. So we're sending this over, Venn token 8. We're going to sign off on the transaction, and we're just going to give this a moment to go through. Uh, and there we are. We are we're gone ahead and we transferred it. So we only have one in our collection right now. And if we switch to Simon, we can see from Simon's end that if we go to his account and refresh OpenSea, he now has one vending machine token in his possession with one heart on it which is great and we can click into this and we can see that the one he has is indeed token 8 and now that we are on Simon's account and I am clicking quickly between test accounts so this one's Simon here let's go back to CryptoVend and to the home page and connect in and Simon will see that he has token 8 here as well as the balance attached to it he has the option to withdraw this balance into his account Let's go ahead and do that. Now that he's received this NFT, let's withdraw this balance into his account so he can take the earnings from that vending machine earlier that processed the transaction for one marble. So we'll just let this take a moment here. The balance here in the contract should update. This is his wallet balance, but we can see the numbers here. And there we go. We get the update all around. So when you say mint a vending machine on CryptoVend, what you're doing is you're interacting with three smart contracts on the back end. You have a vending machine factory contract, which mints you a vending machine contract, which handles payments to it, as well as the ownership properties. And it's associated with a vending machine token, NFT, and ERC721, which allows ownership to be readily identifiable. And that is associated with a vending machine number. So. The vending machine token is a way for you to authenticate who you are and for you to be the one who can only withdraw payment from a vending machine. Um, so that's the demonstration and that's CryptoVend. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's given you some ideas. And if anything in here interests you, I encourage you to reach out and contact me. Uh, wishing you well wherever you are. Be happy. Be healthy. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you.